Hi YouTube, in today's video, I will show you how to desolder and solder SMD components. SMD stands for Service Mounted Components such as capacitors, resistor, and any other components that are soldered on the logic board. For today's practice, we have uh, small capacitors. I'm going to use a hot air to desolder these components from the logic board. I am applying flux. Make sure you use a good grade of flux. Flux is a must when it comes to SMD soldering because it helps you to do a better soldering all the time. It helps melting your solder quicker and also helps you to create a stronger solder joint. First of all, I'm going to use my heat gun to heat up this area. I'm not going to directly heat up the component to desolder right away. I'm going to heat up the board first using my hot air. And at the point when the board gets warmer, I'm going to start desoldering these components with my hot air station. The reason for the warming up is to avoid any damages to my components. It also helps my soldering job a lot easier. Once this area has warmed up, I am going to point my hot air gun directly to a component and start desoldering. When you see a change in color of the solder, it is now perfect time to remove a component. My hot air station's temperature is at 380 Celsius and my air blow power is at 35%. After a soldering job, always clean up the mess with 99% isopropyl alcohol. Now it is time to solder these components back to the board. I am applying flux. Place your component carefully on the board. Try to align it correctly. Here is another tip, it is really important to use a good quality tweezers. I had some of those cheaper uh, tweezers before and then I had a hard time even grabbing these small components correctly. And using a good quality tweezer actually will save you lots of time because you don't have to waste your time grabbing these tiny components all day long. An expensive tweezer actually gives you a solid and precise grip all day long. So if you don't have any good quality tweezer, don't even start this job. It is that important. At this point, do not use too strong air blow level if you do not want them to fly away. My hot air station is still at 380 Celsius and my air blow power is at 30%. Always apply flux for easy work. If you're not sure that your component is stuck to the board, you can use a soldering iron to make sure that your component is actually soldered on the board. Always clean up your mess after using a flux. Alright, that was how to do a soldering and desoldering SMD components with hot air station. If you have any questions, leave comments. I'll do my best to answer your question. Thank you for watching.